Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? Hope all you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. This is Amiruddin, assistant teacher of mathematics, morning shift, national ideal, English version school. Dear students, today I am going to take a math class for the students of class 3. And our today's topic is elementary mathematics book phase number 11 and 12 this is lesson number 4 and sw number 2 okay dear the students let us start our class at first i will solve the problem of phase number 12 here first question is <clears throat> how many groups of 10 are there in 350 how many groups of 10 are there in 350 means if we add how many tens then we will get 350 that means for getting 350 how many tens have to add 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 350 for getting 350 how many tens we have to add if we divide 350 by 10 then we can get it if we divide 350 by 10 then 350 in 350 in 35 we can give three times then it will be 30 if we subtract then 5 and in 50 we can give five times then 5 tens are 50 and 50 minus 50 equal to 0. That means quotient 35. So answer will be 35. If we divide 350 by 10, then answer will be 35. So here answer 35. Now two number. <coughs> How many groups of 100 are there in 6200? That means for getting 6200, how many 100s have to add? 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus dot 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 plus 100 is equal to 6200. For getting 6200, how many 100s have to add? It is similar as 1 we have to divide 6200 by 100 then we can get it if we divide 6200 by 100 6200 100 in 620 we can give it six times then it will be 600 if we subtract then it will be 200 again we can give two times then it will be 200 if we subtract then it's zero that means quotient is 62 so answer will be 62 now we'll solve three number question <clears throat> how much is necessary for 99 to become 100 that means which number is to be add with 99 so that we can get 100 it's very simple question if we add 1 with 99 then we can get 100 so answer of three number will be 1 now four number how much is necessary for 8000 to become 10,000 that means which number is to be added with 8,000 to get 10,000 if we subtract 8,000 from 10,000 then we can get the answer if we subtract 8,000 from 10,000 it will be 2,000 so answer will be 2,000 now we will solve five number what number is 1 more than 999? That means next number of 999. If we add 1 with 999, then we can get the answer. The next number of 999 is 1000. 
if we add 1 with 9, 999, it also will be 1000. So answer will be 1000. Okay, dear the students, we have finished the, we have already solved the problems of page number 12. Now we will solve the problems of page number 11. Here some fill in the blanks given, we have to find out which number will come in the gap. First one is 300 and 5 ones is equal to what? We have to add 300 with 5 ones and you know that 300 means 300 zero zero. and 5 ones means 5 ones equal to 5, 5 multiplication 1 equal to 5. If we add these two numbers, then it will be 305. So, answer of one number fill in the blanks will be 305. Now, two number 4600 two tens and nine ones is equal to what? 4000 means. 4000. This is 4000. Then 600s. 600. Then 2 tens. 2 tens means 2 multiplication 10. That means 2 tens are 20. And 6, sorry, 9 ones. 9 ones means 9 multiplication 1. And this is equal to 9. If we add the, the number, then 0 plus 0 plus 0, 9 equal to 9. 0 plus 0 plus 2 equal to 2 and 0 plus 6 equal to 6 and 4. That means answer of 2 number will be 4, 6, 2, 9. 4, 6, 2, 9. Now we will solve 3 number. 5 hundreds, 4 tens, and one once five hundreds means five zero zero four tens means four multiplication ten and four multiplication tens means forty and one once only one if we add one four and five so answer of three number will be <coughs> five four one Now we will solve four number. Four thousand seven hundred nine tens and three ones. At first four thousand four zero zero. This is four thousand. Then seven hundreds seven zero zero seven hundreds. Then nine tens means nine multiplication ten. Nine tens are ninety and Three ones means only three. If we add, then it will be three, nine, seven, and four. That means answer will be four, seven, nine, three. Okay, dear the students, we have finished our today's class. I hope you have understood today's class. Practice more and more at home. Do your SW properly and submit on next Saturday. Stay home, stay safe, obey your parents' order. Thank you for watching the class. Allah Hafiz.